Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Okay, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And we got uh, Frank Barton, a surprise guest in the studio with us this morning. And we're uh, glad to have Frank uh, Thought he was giving breaking news, and the, but but he did give some news that was breaking. Well, so, we, breaking news with what's going on with Arkansas game and fish. Yeah, yeah. Now we were expecting that uh, that new store to be uh, ready to roll, and so was I. Yeah, so was he, and I, and we've said this before. But uh, open mic Saturday two seven four seven nine seven nine. We're trying to hook up with Lacey Lane up at uh, the Carroll County Shooting Sports, and we got my good friend on the line. We got Jimmy Bryan on the line. Hey, Jimmy, yeah. how you doing, buddy? I'm uh, good, Larry. How you like the show so far? Good. You listen to it, don't you? Yeah. L- Jimmy is a longtime friend of mine, Jimbo uh, Bryant. I know his mom and dad, and he's a faithful listener. And he called me yesterday and uh, wanted the number, and I gave him the wrong number for the show. So that's why. I did, so I'm glad you got the new number. Right, Jimmy? Yeah. Now, you're out in Lakeland, right? Yeah. Okay. Lakeland, uh, there's pretty good fishing out there. Does your dad ever fish in that lake? Uh, no. They they, uh, they restock it. They restocked it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever fish? No. You ought to, Jimmy. You you live in Lakeland. You ought to be fishing at that lake out there. So it's, it's a, good, a good lake. I tell you what, uh. Do you have a subscription to my magazine, Jimmy? Uh, no. All right, we're going to put you on hold, and Greg is going to get your address, and I'm going to send you a magazine. How about that? All right. Thanks, Larry. All right, will you promise that you'll let your dad see it too? Okay. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell that story about you losing your glasses in the middle of Chickasaw Lake up there, okay? So, uh, okay. All right, Jimmy. Appreciate you, buddy. Have a good day. Hold on now. He's going to get your address, okay? All right, okay. all right, Greg, put him on hold. All right, Jimmy Bright. All right, we're trying to hook up a Lacey now. You gave him the number, so we're going to have Lacey on, and he's going to get Jimmy Bright's uh, number. He's a wonderful young man that uh, I've known for a long time. Loves this show. Uh, two seven four seven nine seven nine. So we've given away the two prizes. Uh, we were thinking about giving away a slingshot, but um, a, a real slingshot, not the car. I mean, not the, uh, it's almost like a car, you know. Speaking so. of slingshot, somebody told me you didn't have to have a motorcycle license to drive one. Is that correct? Uh, in, in Tennessee, uh, it's considered an auto cycle. Uh, Arkansas has just passed a regulation. It's also considered an auto cycle. So uh, the motorcycle endorsement has gone away. All right. Great. Okay. All right. We've got my good friend John Sloan on the line. we got John Sloan. Hey, John. Good morning, Larry. How's oh, everything down south? How's everything in Wilson County? Well, right now the sun is out, but we've got another patch of rain coming in. Rained all day yesterday. Uh, the fishing right now is uh, anywhere from slow to absolutely hazardous. <laughs> <laughs> you folks out there who are readers of outdoor, whatever it might be, John is my good friend from the Tennessee Outdoor Writer Association, CIOPA, and, and I will have to think that... Uh, I don't know how John's story, wish I had known, could be second in anything. It's the most, <laughs> it's the most amazing story, uh, a story of John's life. Uh, from 2012 on, John has got, a, he got a little bit different perspective on life, don't you, John? Yes, I did. Things uh, sure got turned around, and uh, we're blessed this morning. We've got beautiful sunshine, although it was 39 degrees when I got up. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, no, it, it, uh, it's it been cool. Yesterday, uh, it was in the 40s all day, and it was 39 for a low last night. Wow. So uh, it's pretty chilly, but uh, Old Hickory is uh, underwater. It's uh, about as uh, nasty as I've ever seen it. Uh, really? Okay. Old trees, huge trees coming downstream, lots of trash, catching a few fish in the sloughs and, and uh, coves off on the side. Not much. Whoever's just been killing us. And priest, uh, from one day to the next, you don't know what's going to happen on priest. So we would but, talk, uh, we've been talking to some people in Arkansas about how uh, Table Rock is blowing it out and the White River and everything like that. Folks don't realize that this water that you get 
is just as uh, is pretty nasty over there, right? Well, you see, uh, Center Hill jumped up 13 feet with the dailies we had week before last. So they have been feet. dumping Center Hill trying to get it back down so they can work on the dam. Well, that flows directly into the Cumberland, and a few minutes later, we get it. My. But I've, ne- I've never seen full green trees, root ball and all, coming down the river uh, before. And you've lived there for a while, John, right? Uh, yeah, I've lived here uh, about 40 years. About 40 years, uh, it, but you fought the Indians back in the, the old days. You yeah, know, we beat them, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, thank you. i got to get to my guest. I appreciate you. Call any time. All right, John, appreciate you. All right, there's a see, so even it's not just affecting Arkansas and other things. It's it, the Nashville area. He's oh. big trees. Oh yeah, water, water everywhere. Water, water everywhere. We got Lacey Lane on the line now. Do we have Lacey on the line? How, how Good off, morning. Hey, how <laughs> off on her number was I? Uh, they what? He had had a couple switched around. Oh, I had a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah Dick's well, Lexi. Had yeah, I, my my no, right, right down your number, Lacey got me kind of confused. So. Um, your your big old numbers up there now. You folks know Lacey Lane because uh, she's our pistol lady, and she's also uh, uh, the rifle person and shooter and things like that. And and we're at the Carroll County. We're right out of a uh, Huntington, Huntington, Tennessee, a beautiful facility up there. And I was amazed how many kids we got up there today. Lacey, give our give our listeners a little idea of what's going to happen today. And then what's going on? How many kids? And I understand you've got some kids from Wisconsin. We do. We have kids from Wisconsin, Indiana, Illinois. We have about 324 entries this morning. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man. <laughs> now, that's, that's counting pistol and both disciplines of rifle. So we've got, we've got a lot of kids to get through today. And, uh, Dave, you know that... Uh, this is a this is a state competition, but tell our listeners how it can be a state competition, but we have other states. Well, Lacey, you know, you have even though you know you have state championships and stuff, you have open divisions. Okay, you know, correct. But, and and that's what you compete in a lot. Yeah, don't you, when right? I go when I go to a state shoot, another state shoot, you know, and trap, you know, I don't get to compete as the, in the resident. You know, divisions. You're in the so open division. I'm in the open divisions. And a lot of these kids, what ages are they, Lacey? They start in fourth grade in the rifle <laughs> and then, then uh, 12 years old in pistol. And they can shoot all the way through full time college students. Amazing. Fourth grade. So you got, fourth will, you grade. Ha- will you have fourth graders up there today? We do. We have a lot of fourth graders coming in this morning. Uh, uh, th- that is amazing. Now, this is the Tennessee Scholastic Action Shooting Sports, right? Yes. Okay, explain that to our listeners. What does that mean? Action shooting is all speed, pistol, and rifle. So we have optic rifle, and we have iron rifle, and we have um, center fire pistol and room fire pistol. And this is all part of the, uh, who do you work for? I work for the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Foundation, and see a which lot is of a nonprofit for our agency. Yes, and so uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming you even got Julie Schuster there probably. So, uh, I do. Okay, she's, she's gonna be she's gonna be just a phone call away this morning. So well, okay, she's actually working, you know, from our Nashville office. So okay, she's well, be I, well, helping this, out. Now, so, Dave, you, and uh, it, it it's really fascinating. This is one, probably one of the fastest. It's the fastest growing, grow, one growing of the fast, sports. You're yeah, right. Yeah, but it's all timed events. And what what some oh, of the, I couldn't what, handle that. No. Uh, shooting metal plates. All time. What's some of the times you've had turned in so far, Lacey? We've had about a 36 um, all together <laughs> for all four bays. And then we had a, around a 38, I want to say, for rifles. So we've had in the long 30s for both pistol and rifle. Well, explain yeah. that to me, who's a nine. Okay. That's, you know, you get, uh, you know, you've got a series of metal targets you're going to shoot. Yeah. How far away? You know, uh, different distances. Different depend- distances, depending on the at the stage that you're at. Okay. You know, they have they have catchy names like In and Out, and what's some of the other uh, In and Out, Go Fast, Go Speed Fast. Trap. Okay, In and, and Out. Focus. I can handle In and Out. I'm not sure I do yeah. Go Fast, but uh, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> and they get to you know uh, shoot uh, so many strings, and yeah. then they throw the. Uh, Y'all throw the the highest one out, right? Correct. 
So the you highest know, one out, okay. It's the highest run, and, and we're talking about for the complete aggregate, you know, the four stages. So it's fun. It's, it's we're pretty, talking 30 seconds. Uh, that's what blows my mind right there. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about taking a Dramamine or something like that. You know, you need to, uh, this is a nerve wracking uh, situation. Of course, Lacey's not nervous at all. I mean, she just gets up there and, when she wants to compete and shoot and things like that. But what makes it such a, such a fast growing thing, Lacey, in your mind? It's fun. It's family oriented. Um, it's just a it's just a great discipline to to be a part of and and learn gun safety and just be you know on a team. It, it's great. So how fast has this grown? We went from having ninety five shooters the very first year to about three seventy five this year. And the first year was how long ago? Two years ago. <laughs> See that, folks. Two years ago, <laughs> and, and probably one of the largest contingents of competitors, uh, you know, from the Memphis area. Arlington has a fairly good size. Arlington trappers. Arlington has a really good team, and yeah. uh, and that's because they put the emphasis on it. And 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 the thing about this, the cost of this sport is it's a lot cheaper than so- shotgun. It Amen. Is. Yeah. The, the, well, Gene Smith echoes that over because there because th- this. Uh, competitions are, you got to use stock equipment. Now you mean stock equipment? What you buy right over the counter. Right over the counter. And there's no, you you know. So what are they using today? What kind of equipment? A lot of the kids will be shooting the Breda, um, the Neos 22. Uh Uh-huh, yeah. And so, and um, the Ruger ten twenty two rifles, the M and P twenty two rifles. I wanted you to say that because Ruger ten twenty two is one of our good friends, and uh, mm-hmm. uh, we give away gun cases from our Ruger friends at ten twenty two. And uh, uh, you know, uh, so the so get in the sport. You could get in this sport for how much? Less than what? Uh. You you can get you can get a pistol for less than three hundred dollars, and then just your ammo. Cost, yeah. and that's all you need. It's amazing, and 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 you can go to their website. Tell them uh, that website. Uh, you can go to www.trysf.trysfonline.org, or you can go to twrf.net. That's it. I mean, it, all the information, and uh, you'll be shooting today and tomorrow, right? Yes. Okay, so folks can come out and watch, right? If you need some fun. Uh, Absolutely. We'll have a flight at 9 o'clock and 1 o'clock each day. 9 o'clock and 1 o'clock. So it's a little nippy up in Huntington today. So uh, this it morning. It is. It's chilly. It's chilly. Okay, but the guns <laughs> fire just the same, right? So, <laughs> That's and, right. And it's a free to come out and watch. I, I guess they've got all sorts of, you can watch the kids. You can. Uh, it, it, this is a wonderful facility, people, if you've not been it to it. I mean, we like ours down here, but this is first class. The Carroll County Shooting Complex is uh, its right out of Huntington. It's easy to find. Just start listening, okay? You can hear people shooting somewhere <laughs> back in there. Hey, Lacey, thank you. Always good to thank talk y'all. to you, girl. Take it easy. Have a great day, okay? All right, y'all too. All right, let's take a break. We found Lacey. We got John Sloan slipping in there. We got Jimmy Bryant slipping in there. Let's take a break and come right back, and we're going to talk. We're going over to Pigeon Forge. Uh Frank, have you ever been to Pigeon Forge? A few times. A few times. He's even flown over there. All right, we'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Wright. <laughs> we're the mic. We're the mic. 